we want to look at identifying acids and bases. For the first example here, I want to look at how to identify based on the Arrhenius definition. And if you recall, Arrhenius definition says that if it's an acid, it's going to produce H+, and if it's a base, it's going to produce OH. So we can look at these problems and we can determine whether it's going to be an acid or a base. Remember, it's going to be an acid if it has the H. So I'm going to put a little H right here. And it's going to be a base if it has OH. So when I look at this first one, we notice it has an OH, so that means this is going to be a base. And when I write it out, remember to write it with an aqueous behind it so we know that it's in solution. It's going to get calcium ions in solution. And how many OHs do you see? Well, I see two, so it's going to get two OH in solution. So now what about the next one? Well, I notice it's got a hydrogen in it, so it's most likely going to be an acid. I'm going to write this equation as well, starting with the given, and breaking it down into its corresponding ions. Remember, they're in solution, so you must put that little AQ behind it. So now I have the next two that I want you to try on your own, and then come back and check your answers. So the next two examples were a base and an acid, and they followed the same principles that we did in A and B. Did you get them right? I bet you did.